Very warm welcome to those watching this replay version. Winter Major Qualifying First Look Stream Pro Division if you are new here. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up as well. If you are watching replay version, you will see the timestamps of each hole in the video description down below. So if you want to uh, jump ahead to a specific hole, then you can by all means do so. Uh, do we have enough curl? We're gonna go with Pro here. Uh, will I need power five balls with extra mile? No, you'll be fine with a Titan or even a Katana most of the time. Uh, here, I'm just going to see if we've got enough curl to play with the big topper. Or we go, you know, like you could go with the APOC for the curl, but again in pro, not many people are going to have that. But with the big topper, it does have to be with a power five ball. You know what? I'm going to see if we can just have a go with this. Um, try and suit the lower levels. It's only a first look anyway. Don't forget to thumbs up, as Kane says, would be much appreciated. Okay, let's go. Do I have the big topper in the bag? Yes. This is actually a bit of a nasty wind angle. It's going to push us away from the green. Oh, yes, hole nine, you can use the big dog in rookie. Three away from 50 thumbs up, so if you have not hit thumbs up, then please do so. That would be greatly appreciated. Now, do we have actually more tailwind than I thought from that picture? Let's have a look. No, it's actually, it's a little bit headwindy. There's a little bit of headwind on that. And, and you're going to adjust down off the island. What happened there? Did he not hit, did he hit uh, good or something? Okay, let's have a go with this, uh, with this big flopper. You do need a power five, otherwise you're going to have to play with overpower. So we're going to go with eight top and two right, which is as much of each spin as you can get. And we are going to have to aim it kind of here. And I'm going to have to go with as much curl. I don't even know if we have enough curl to do this. Max plus 10 is 3.6, going to take us down off the platform. doesn't take us into overpower but we are adjusting to a lower point so I'm going to push up to max and I'm going to go with as much curl as I oh I've got quite a bit of curl I put a little bit of overpower on that well we could have used more curl we could have used more OP to be honest uh, that's big topper level four. A quadruple great. Uh, big topper level four has 65% um, curl. I honestly could have gone with max curl on that. Big topper level three is 54% curl. Should be okay. But big topper level three has eight yards less distance. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to be in Enbringer range here. If you want to know more about Enbringer, check out the Academy tutorial. We have a quick fire Enbringer school. Let's see. It could be glitchy from here, you know. You can get a bit of a glitch. Let's have a look. A tough wedge from here, you know. Tough wedge, but almost at uh, Max Club. We're going to be 5.9. Can we see the ball guide to the hole, though? That's the problem. See, there, there's the glitch, and we're going to have to be very careful here because we don't want to... We don't want to hit that glitchy spot. This could miss, but we'll give it a go. 5.9, but we could push the drive harder, so... That's also something to have in mind. Perfect away. Let's see if we get the glitch though. 
No, we got it in. It's a tough wedge, that is. I did play 20% elevation, even with an Enbringer 4. Uh, I thought that could have missed, to be honest. Uh, we need to obviously put an, another ring of OP on. Go with Max Curl. You'll have, I would say, hopefully a 70% wedge rather than a 92% wedge, because that, that's not a nice... That's not a nice wedge, to be honest. Um, I was a bit twitchy on that. So, okay, headwind second uh, hole then. So we are going to do. Let's uh, hold on. Let's see what we're going to do. Uh, here, going to start with a power five ball to find our position, which is a very good thing to do on this hole. Then I'm going to switch to a navigator. And go with... What are we doing? Number 10. I might play one-on-one. -on -one. might play it a bit over one-on-one, -on -one, actually. Let's have a look. Doing some numbers. Okay, let's go. Hole number two. Thank you for the boons. A good chance on here. I mean, I could use a token, but in the interest of time, because we're doing three divisions, I may just... Um, well, we are going straight in on this one. It's obviously too late to back out. But hopefully you're going to try and hit as many perfects as possible, which is the aim of the game with a first look. So power five ball, complete min, white ring touching the rough. Because if you start with a power one ball, there's no guarantee you're going to be in the right position. But there's only one place that will work with this one. Going to go with 4.2 top spin and a smidgen of left spin. And we're going to try that. Then I'm going to go here, mid plus 15, 6.5, and I'm using power 3 settings. And I'm going to see how this goes. Oh, God, I'm going to last. No! On a par 3 as well, that's unforgivable. Apologies. But we can test the speed. Speed good. The great great left kicks us to the left and you get the slope to the right. So that's unfortunate about that. Sorry, not a very good first look, but still. I do like the uh, Power 5 min distance, though. It's, you know, what we use to set up in any form of wind on that hole, actually. Ugh, so frustrating. So if you do have power five balls, stick one on for that one, but hit perfect. Uh, Bagus Suxmono, thank you very much. I'm doing well. Uh, Tim Rice, good to see you as well. Uh, with that shot, obviously we do want it perfect. Um, 4.2 top spin can be played with a sniper level eight plus. Uh, you have 45% top spin, so you should be okay with the sniper eight. I think you've got 4.2 is max on that. Sniper seven and lower, you have less top spin. Uh, right, hole number three. They massively preempted that, he's a great left. So keen, far too keen. Right, how's the pole doing? Oh, it's a tie between Grunberg Slopes and the Green at Point. I didn't think Sharuba would win. 43%. If you've not voted, please uh, stick your fingers on the uh, options there. We get a winter course for the next mini. Which would you prefer? Grunberg Slopes, Green at Point, Snowy Bershing, or Sharuba Springs? That's, this is a nasty wind angle for pro, actually, here. This is not pleasant at all. I might just put a token on this, actually. This is going to be one where, really, unless you berserker it on directly over, um, this is a very difficult win because it's against the line of the shot. You want to play with white curl. 
Uh, this is not a wind angle we have had at all on this hole in tournament play in Pro or Experts. I have the lovely file here from Nick. And hello, Nick. Thank you. For, sorry, I've just seen you. Much appreciated. Thank you for the good luck. Have your lovely uh, file here, and there's no west wind direction on there at all. It's like we've had everything but. Make sure you go and sub to Nick. Nick's to, uh, Nick is to blame for me being here. The streaming bug from Nick. Just over two years ago, made my first ever appearance on YouTube over at Nick's place. The other thing with this is you, again, are going to adjust down into the water. It's going to cause you to lose distance. And you're still going to have slight headwind on the second shot, left to right. Oh, sorry, right to left. It's taking a token here. I do want to practice, the, uh, I do want to qualify this account, so I don't want to go in the water or anything. I have to play it again later or tomorrow. If you're going to be in the rough, be on the left rough than the right rough because you'll be further away if you're on the right. We're going with APOC for the curl. Full top spin three right. I'm going to go red ring, top of plus 10. Max plus 10 is going to give me 3.1. Let's just try this. If it doesn't work, then obviously we can tweak it. One and a half ball curl. Let's have a look. Could go with a bit more top spin, but that's okay. Uh, we need to push it a bit harder. APOC is an advantage on this one. Even in low level, you should be okay with that. Um, could you use the rock? Uh, probably could, it would give you curl if you don't have APOC. Check I've got the sniper in the bag here. You'd be okay with an APOC 3. Would you be okay with an APOC 2? Let's go and have a look. Yeah, you'd probably be okay with an APOC 1, to be honest. You, you'd need overpower. You wouldn't have the top spin with APOC level 1. APOC 2 would be okay, though. Fred, you're very welcome. Yeah, there's a couple of tough drives on this. Oh, Fuchsbau, good to see you. Welcome. Not much topspin on low-level rock, that is true. You would need 7+. plus. Right, so we did red ring top of plus 10. Did we not? 4 top, could have gone with a bit more, so I'm going to go 4.2. Actually, may even go 4.3, 4.43, right. Max 10 is 3.9. Stronger winds taking me further down here. We are at max distance. Slightly more headwind. And we went with a good amount of curl. Oh god, this could be trouble. This could be trouble. That was a heavy grade. I think we're going to be okay. But only because it's an accurate club. It's cost us a bit of distance. Let's see if we can do something with the Sniper 10. We may even have to pack the Cataclysm on this. Let's see what wind angle we get on the second shot. Tough one. Tough drive, that. Berserker directly over there. You probably need overpower, wouldn't you? Because I'm just thinking, is it plus 16 with APOC 3? 231 yards. I wonder if you could get direct over there with the Berserker if you don't have an APOC. Something to ponder over. It's going to be close. He's very fortunate that didn't roll in the rough. 
He's very fortunate there. Right, let's see if we can reach with Sniper 10. It's going to need some overpower this. So if you've got low-level Sniper and you you're not wanting to push the drive, I would put a 180-yard club on this. Because already, look, we're needing to stretch out two rings to find the position. So, Which is a pain when you're setting spin. Because you have to keep going back and forwards. Max plus 10, 6.5. I'm going to have to overpower this, though. Because he's just taken us into overpower. So let's just make sure we get on with a great. I mean, I'm just playing to get on here. So yeah, lower level, I would go Big Dog or Cataclysm. Just make sure you get on and save your eagle. Albatross going to be very tough in this angle, really. If you, you want to look at the Albatross, you've got to really push the drive quite far. So a little tricky one there, little tricky one. Let's have a look what we have on hole four. Uh, you know, pro... Tier 1, Tier 2, I think you're going to see quite a lot of birdies on that. And we got over 55 likes, thank you very much for that. Fireworks for you all, thank you for being here. The sun has come out here. Which we like. Tap in for an eagle. Move on to hole number four. Let's see if we can attack the pin on this one. 56, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Thank you all for supporting the channel. If, if you barely make it onto this green, you will have an overpower putt. I always, in tour play here, if it was tricky, I'd rather be wet, playing with a wedge than a putt from the beginning of the green, because it is uphill, and you do have to overpower it. Unfortunately, that guy missed the putt. Maybe it was a deliberate miss. I don't know. Right, hole four. Ooh, okay. So we can go here on the right side. This is good. I'm going to play with the Guardian. Going to play with the Guardian here. And hopefully, I'm going to try and hit a perfect ball for you guys, which I didn't do on hole two. Okay, let's have a look. Just fixing with Clash Caddy. Uh, whilst I'm doing that, don't forget, if you do... Um, it's my first week stepping up for guide work with the wonderful Brandon Birkin expert. Good luck to the guys taking over from Pro. Uh, they're doing their first one this week. If you do want to get Ultimate Text Guides, link is in the video description down below. So please do check that out. Single divisions available. And uh, if you want all three or two of them, plenty of options there. So do head over if you're not a member or you know one of the patrons. Check them out. Uh, we're going to go with a navigator here, here, and we're going to play with the guardian and see if we can attack the pin. Uh, we've had a similar wind angle before on this one, so I do have a kind of a reference. Tanner Bishop here. We get the return of the slopes. Robert Casper. Good morning. Thank you very much for the good luck. Okay, going to go here. Uh, we do have a wind table, which is good. Play with Navigator, uh, using Guardian for the backspin because that suit more levels and obviously has more backspin than the Sniper 10 anyway. So Grunberg is the winner on that one, 44%. So we're going to close that one off. going to be interesting actually see this guy with the sniper 10 
I have to aim for quite far back though, look, to get the ball to stop in time. And he's going to adjust down the slope here, which is something we don't really want to do if we can help it. Adjust downhill, going to lose distance on your shot. Yeah, I like Greenberg slopes, actually. It's a fun course. See that express train whizzing around. He's on for the safe birdie. It's going to roll back within a couple of uh, yards. Kane, thank you very much. Congrats on your almost 15,500 subs. Honestly, and it's gone so quick. But massively appreciated. Okay, six miles an hour. Right, so we're going to do max backspin, one left. And we're going to aim the second bounce just around the fringe, I think. And I'm going to go max plus 15, power 1. I'm going to go 5.9 rings. Perfect away, thank goodness. We did not hit great on the second par three. I'm using Guardian eight numbers with a level seven. Ah, oh, so close. So very, very close. Just need to nudge the landing position up. So max backspin one left, max plus 15. Use Guardian eight numbers if you've got Guardian level seven. You could play that with a lower level Guardian as well. In fact, looking at the date on that guy, that looks like one of my old shots, to be honest. Um, which is, I think, a tweak from one of Brandon's in Expert, looking at the sides. So, <laughs> so a big shout out to the rest of the team there. Guardian 7, you'll be fine, because I just played with the Guardian 7 there as well. Uh, you would also be okay with a Guardian level six because you've got backspin. So that will be Guardian level six plus. Uh, if you are still playing rookie and you want to go back and check any of the previous rookie stuff, the replay is up on the channel now. Okay, we can play left side on this uh, with this wind angle here. Again, this is a new wind angle for pro. We've not had this wind angle before. Totally new wind angle. Which is always interesting. Let's see if we can get enough distance to play with uh, the sniper on the second shot. I might just play with extra mile here and switch clubs just to show you the setup and just go with an APOC for the accuracy. Uh, may need to be adjusting to overpower though, so could switch to Kingmaker as well. But yeah, Guardian 6 plus on that one will be absolutely fine. Very good chance, and it's only a navigator. What more could you want? Next ball, I would think it'll be tomorrow, Carl. If it's not, it's not up yet, is it? So it's going to be tomorrow. And I would think if they're going by their previous form, it'll be um, it'll be a season ball plus another ball. You usually get two, don't you, at the start of the season? Oh yeah, need to start a chest off. Good. Uh, thanks for the reminder. Actually, we do have a bit of tailwind on this. Look, it's hovering around horizontal, but it's a hint of tailwind which is a, a little bit more pleasant. Nice drive there. That's a, that's an ideal position to be in. You know, 340 to 345 is fine. You're not threatening the rough, but you're far enough up to get yourself some distance. So here I would check that you're going to go with one top spin. Check the second bounce is just above the bunker. Let's see if we could do this. I'm going to switch to the APOC. 
even with a shorter driver you're going to be fine the wind's going to push you over the bunker a little bit anyway um so you know what let's let's leave with that max plus 10 4.8 doesn't need to be the apoc here of course I'm going to go with a smidge in the left curl, but not too much. Because the wind's going to push us left. Should clear the bunker nicely. We might be able to go with a bit more top spin. Let's see. Maybe another point two. You know, four yards short than I wanted. So 1.2 top spin would be better. Or if you're with extra mile eight, you play with one bar of top spin because you've got two more yards on your club. Okay, second shot here usually would be 5%, but we do have crosswinds, so maybe 10, maybe 15. So if you're playing expert, stick around. After these next five holes, we're going to start, we're going to go straight into expert. Oh, zoom in from our opponent. Very nice attempt. With a katana. Could use a katana. But power three is safer. Right. 5.9. We are at max with sniper 10. Obviously, if you have a really low sniper, 7, 8, you might want to change. So we're going to leave the ball guide a little short here because we don't want to come in too hot. Back up slightly. 5.9. Gonna have crosswind. I'm going to go with. Uh, do I want to do max 15 then? I'm going to try max plus 15 power 2, which is 6.8. Perfect away. Almost overtaking RJ, can you believe it? He was the first ever streamer that I watched. That's over adjusted there, and it's a little bit short. So I think we could really have done max plus five, really. I need a little bit more topspin. But we got the eagle, so it's, tw it's all tweakable. We had two perfect balls, so that's all you can ask for. Well, I mean, you could ask for a drop, but. <laughs> And don't forget, uh, Freddy, if uh, you miss anything, the replay will be up kind of 15, 20 minutes after I finish playing. Thanks to uh, the guys that work behind the scenes on the channel. A big shout out to them as well. Okay, hole six. Can we send it then? Can we send it on hole six? Let's have a look. Oh, we have a an achievement of the bird of prey. Wonderful. Right, let's open a chest. Or at least start one. Oh, I have started one. How many gems do I get for 500 eagles? 15 gems. They're so stingy, aren't they? So stingy. Right, what we got on hole six then? Let's have a look. Ooh, wrong one. Uh, we're going to have to go for this, I think, really. Let's have a look. Could send it directly, could also go with bouncing on the middle strip of fairway with um, a, an APOC. Just having a little think about this one. I don't know if it's enough tailwind to get directly over there. I don't think it is. Mm. 
Either way, it's going to need six bars of topspin this one. So, uh, you know what, let's have a look. I'm probably going to bounce in the middle though. Uh, Robert, how you doing? Good to see you. You're getting paid to watch. Well, there you go then. There you go. I mean, like, APOC 5 was probably going to get over there with a Berserker, but, you know, there's not everybody in pros got APOC 5. But you see that Islander rough on the final piece of fairway? We want to really get to the left of that, bouncy in the middle. I just don't think there is enough. I'm going to, I might give it a go if we do get tailwind, and if it's a strong tailwind, I might give it a go, but... I don't know really is the answer. I'll go through the options and then we'll see. We'll see what we're going to do. Seven point six with a Zerk is gonna give me what? Four point four. Yeah, we we're, we're gonna get over there. The other thing you can do is you can set up here and then aim around up there where, where the blue arrows are. Try and get over there with top spin and right spin. But you know what I'm gonna give this a go um and and just I don't think I need that much top spin there. Let's try five and one. 7.6, max plus 10. I'm going to stick with the extra mile 8 because we need distance. 4.4. Push up to max. Oh, God, I was running out of time there. It's probably going to clip the rough with a, with a grate. Yeah, it is. Yeah, bad grape, but it's it's gonna get over there. Sadly, I was thinking I was gonna time up. To be honest, at uh, time out. So, <laughs> you know, we're still gonna reach, of course, with the Nirvana, but um, yeah. I uh, only have one power five ball, but is wind five also no? In which case, I wouldn't play with that because you you will take the wind down too much. So I would go with a, I'd go with a power three ball and play safe. It, you know, it's only the qualifying round as well. You, you have to think about that. You know, do you really want to be um, spending power five balls in qualifying? And I don't know really. Uh, there's there is. I'll show you this little funnel here because it's useful to know. You see the nice little slope there. If you if you can catch that. Then, you know, you've got half a chance. Apologies for the drive there. Just run out of time. 3.6. Anyway, we're going to go 75 slider, zero elevation. Just going to get the ball on the green, of course. You know, thankfully, unlike the other par fours this is not a must eagle uh, yeah expert coming directly after this uh, don't forget join us on facebook link in the video description down below exclamation mark group nearly eight thousand members no drama there uh, very friendly atmosphere share your drops in the group um, there's free guides there posted as well it's free to join and there's plenty of stuff there very active group so um as Martin says, layup for the Midthorn is a solid play. It, it is, really. Oh, I spent too much of the sh shot clock just faffing there, showing points on the fairway. <laughs> right, hole seven. What are we going to get here, then? You know, would I, would I spend a load of tokens and a load of zerks on that in qualifying? Probably not. Uh, right, we've had something similar before here, which is good. And again, this looks like one of my old shots, so hopefully I can 
Oh, we did have wind angle tweaks on this as well. God. Oh, this will be sniper level 9 plus. If you don't have sniper, then switch and play with the guardian. There you go. Five and a half top three right. 1.25 curl right for the bounce over is solid. Thank you, Martin. Give Martin some booms. Thank you for sharing these little tips. And if you do have uh, your preferred routes, put them in the chat and let people know. You know, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Don't apologise about the drive. Even Tommy makes mistakes. All you need to do now is fall off your chair. <laughs> I missed that. And I don't know what stream it was on. Maybe is there, is there a little clip of it? <laughs> right, what am I doing here then? Sniper. Six and a half back, two left. Is what we've got here. Which is not quite max backspin within Sniper 9 Plus, but it almost is. And it's half of the blue ring. Okay. Um, this is mid plus 10 power 4, 7.1. Oh, takes us just to min. Oh, God. Slightly more tailwind than the last time. Oh, interesting. So, you've got to bear in mind in high winds, it's going to take you to the min line, or of course, we're too high. So, a little bit more tailwind than we've had on previous angles with that. Kingmaker. Or, of course, we could just go with max backspin with a sniper. And then you wouldn't need to set up a far back. Yeah, honestly, I think Max Backspin would be better on that, to be honest. That's going to be a, that's going to be a good chance bouncing over there uh, with Sniper. Like I said, if you don't have Sniper 9 plus plate with Guardian, set up with the Sniper, though, find your landing position. Then do, your, do, do a club switch. Obviously, make sure you've got two bags set up, one with the Sniper, one with the Guardian. It was a while ago, Freddy. I know it was a while ago. But I don't know when. Oh, and there's the egg live stream incident with Nick. Yes. If he's still in the chat, he'll remember that one. At the end of a quiz... Nick's other half cracked an egg on his head and it ruined his monitor as well. It was funny, but not because the, his monitor ended up dying an untimely death um, due to egg splatter. Right, two holes to go in pro, then we're going on to expert. So hole eight, must eagle. So we need to eagle this one. Well, we, hopefully we can. We are in Pro Division 2, of course. Okay, another poll coming up. Fingers ready. If I can spell. go what day do you prefer to qualify your accounts monday tuesday or wednesday oh that's a nasty one okay this is actually quite tricky we've had this wind angle before it's gonna have to be the big topper though sadly and it does need um it does need overpower, so this is actually quite a nasty one. This one. Oh, have I got the big topper in the bag? Yeah, I have. Go max plus 10 power 3. Going to be about two or three rings of OP. Here. 
and we're going to set up at max as well which is not you know wonderful 8.2 top two left um, we want to give ourselves a little bit of room big top of five is useful 2.3 rings max plus 10 one and a half rings OP might go for two rings OP a bit of curl oh great left I'd rather do great left than a great right with this wind angle we were very lucky there that I think that would have clipped the bunker with a perfect if I'm honest that's a nasty little wind angle that is uh, how am I in pro 2 because I never play the weekend rounds competitively have I done anything clumsy not on not on stream actually big top of 2 is going to struggle here actually if you You know, if you go full overpower and you hit a bad grate or a good, you can be in the water. I'd, I'd honestly be, I'd be tempted to lay up with a low club. It's not an easy wind angle. That any form of headwind on this in pro is difficult because it it really puts people with a lower club at a disadvantage. Where it's like an expert, you have less club ranges of the players. Extra mile eight, you won't have the top spin, Freddy. Uh, you'll have six bars of top spin only, and we're using eight point two, so it's tricky to know what to do on that. So let's see if we can pop this one in. about 70 percent or somewhere like that and we're going to go 3.2 we'll take 3.2 right looking up for any glitchy spots i don't think we have any Yeah, some nasty little wind angles so far in pro, honestly. We've got that one in. Dependra, how you doing? Good to see you. From Nepal. You're a warm welcome. Okay, managed to just uh, scrape an eagle out of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm at APOC 4 generally you're okay, aren't you, Robert? But a couple of times it can be a bit tricky. Do the devs even play the game? Um, to a degree, I believe. I don't think they're topping master brackets, though. Right, hole nine. Come on, let's have a let's have a nice wind angle on hole nine after these kind of fairly nasty ones yeah those six yards apoc four to five it's a it's a very good upgrade that and it can take an age to get there but when you get to apoc five you fe actually feel like yeah this is a nice upgrade oh my god honestly direct headwind on hole nine is absolutely boring as hell absolutely boring that's the worst wind angle you can possibly have on this hole thank goodness it's in qualifying round you know that's just I just don't find very little interest in that at all you know it's gonna have to be full blast full overpower and hope you don't hit the rough and we are gonna need a wood club with distance on the second shot that's really boring I'm glad I'm not doing pro. 
Uh, as we've said in the chat, going to need, obviously, Distance Wood Club. And we're going to pick the big dog because it's uh, the best one in terms of accuracy and topspin. Just need to make sure it's in the bag. Dear me. Dear, dear me. Right. Now we're just going to see. I'm, I'm going to qualify anyway. Uh, so let's see if we can actually get a perfect on the uh, on the drive. It is Kane. It's cruel, and that's the thing. In pro, you notice it more than ever. In the other divisions, you know, in pro, you struggle with different club levels. It's going to be no movement. I'm playing with this because he's got six top spin. He's got accuracy. Extra mile eight is better, really. Uh, it's just basically going to be max top spin with a little bit of right. Uh, we are going to adjust max plus, plus 10, uh, which is 4.4. And then we're just going to go full OP. Uh, if you've got higher wind balls here and you don't mind spending them, they will help you. A great left. I'd rather have hit a minor great right because it's going to get me further away from the second shot. We should still be on the fairway though. It's going to still leave a very long second shot here. 362. I mean, God, you kind of want 370 plus on that. Uh, don't forget BK Academy tutorial videos. Um, if you've been watching on replay and you want tips on other gameplay, Enbringer method, uh, slider, rings from min, uh, club distance, distance checks, overpower, timing. Uh, there's plenty, so check the playlist. We're safe, we're safe. I don't know if we're safe for the second shot though, Martin. <laughs> we'll see. Like I said, a great right would have been fine and it puts you nearer the hole, you know, like great left obviously is going to take you further away from the green. Expert coming up in um, like two minutes time. See, look at that. Even this is going to need some overpower. Uh, here, going to go max plus 10, and we're going to play with some curl as well and just get it on the green, I hope. 2.9. Just takes me to max distance. Going to need a decent amount of curl on this, really. Important hit perfect with um, low accuracy clubs. Could probably have gone with more top spin. No, we're okay. It's going to get on the green. Get your eagle and run really is the name of the game most often on hole nine. And it's no exception with that wind, really. Oh, well done, Robert. That's great. Eighth and 30th. Well done. Expert three or master. For me, a young, it would always be master over expert three, especially if you're in tough expert three, because there are kind of hidden tiers in these uh, tier systems. Right, so everybody wants to get through on a Monday. And do you know what? My vote would be the Monday as well. I hate qualifying on the Wednesday. Absolutely hate it. Thank you, Mikhail. Much appreciated. Very close on uh, hole number four, actually. Don't forget, if you're playing pro as well, there will be opening round walkthroughs on Thursday. So um, it'd be a front nine and a back nine. So get your uh, bell button enabled on the channel. We're going to go directly to expert now. Do not go eight top on that shot. There you go. Just get on safely. What did I use? Six bars. That was okay, wasn't it? Thank you, Kieran. Uh, thank you very much, everybody watching replay. Much appreciated. Good luck. Don't forget, check out the channel for opening round on Thursday. 